Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for the week ahead. This is for the first week of April. Um, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am going to do the Sata Cross just for this one segment. Then I'm going back to my regular. I just figured I'd change it up a little bit. So what do we got for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? What do we got for the week ahead? What do we got for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? Oh, that mess is okay. I don't like it. Well, look at that. Two of Cups. This is love. This is a union, a partnership coming together, perhaps. Oh, let me put that on mute. There we go. But the challenge is patience. Maybe you're patiently. Maybe you need to be patient. Maybe you need to get prepared for this partnership. Maybe you weren't prepared for it. Maybe you're not prepared for it. You may, And this could also be wasting time. You could be wasting time on something that you shouldn't be wasting time on. I mean, this could go many different ways. We need to get more cards to figure out exactly what this is. Ooh. Yeah, so we do have somebody here that, you know, doesn't have good intentions. Somebody that's not emotionally available. So I don't know if it's you or the other person, but it looks to me as though somebody's not emotionally available. Somebody's gone cold. Maybe they've withdrawn. You know, they're no longer communicating. Maybe they've shut down completely emotionally. Maybe that's in the past. Okay, this is the past position, but this you could be still dealing. This person is here. They're in the energy. Could be you. This could be you. Emotionally shut down. Not available right now. And it could be because of a past relationship, right? Obviously. This is, um, right now, not re no reciprocation. You know, you may not be getting what you deserve. Maybe, maybe you're not putting in effort. I mean, if you don't put in effort, then, you know things don't work out so whether it's you or the other person somebody's not putting in effort there's lack of reciprocation here so hmm. somebody may not be communicating maybe somebody is wasting their time on the wrong one uh, i don't know let's see what else we got here mm, tug of war back and forth back and forth back and forth mm, conflict Ooh, endings bring new beginnings. Ah, you may be, somebody may be holding on to the wrong one, just saying, I'm not sure. Uh-oh, looks like that could be the case. Mm, there's manipulation here. Manipulation, deceit, deception, lies. Yikes, right? Right? That is a yikes. Big one. Um, we're going to go back around here in a minute. I just want to get an overall, Okay. You know, you're overall, you're overall in your environment. We do have a new beginning coming. Something is ending. Something is ending. We have a major transition going on right now, right now in your life. You may be going through some sort of transformation. Some major change is happening. I think right now you are probably, you may be in a state of, you know, reluctance to let go of something. Okay. Maybe you're reluctant to let go of a partnership. You know, maybe you're reluctant to let open your heart. Maybe you're just reluctant to, you know, let go of the, let go of the past. I mean, somebody's clinging to the memories. They're clinging to the past. They're clinging to, you know, what they had. And I feel as though they should be getting prepared for a new beginning. They should be getting prepared for something new. You know, a bigger, better opportunity. And I think we got somebody here that's really going back and forth. You know, um, and it's causing a lot of um, disharmony in their life. A lot of lack of balance. It really is time to reevaluate cancer. It is. I feel as though um, right now somebody is really conflicted. Absolutely conflicted. There's difficulty in communication. I think that... Um, there's, there could be some unexpected conflict in your life. Maybe it's within yourself. Okay. Maybe you just don't know what to do. There's definitely a feeling of being uncomfortable, not knowing if you should communicate or you shouldn't communicate or if you should engage yourself or not. I think that right now, um, <laughs> you know, this is a lost opportunity. 
It is. It's a lost opportunity. Somebody could be missing a bigger, better opportunity because mm, they're wasting their time on holding on to the memories of the past. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. This is self-manipulation. It is. You have the resources. You have the power to shed the old, but you do have to take action and you have to accept change. This is taking action. This is being willing, but it's reversed. If you're not willing to make changes, if you're not willing to take it, action if you're not willing to release and allow new beginnings into your life then you know you're in trouble this is not manifesting both of these cards somebody is not manifesting a bigger better opportunity because they're playing tug of war with the past and that is what we got going on here so um, let's go back around. We're not going to challenge. We're not going to clarify the the challenge card. The challenge is moving forward. The challenge is pa waiting patiently for that right ship. That's the challenge. The challenge is getting prepared and you know turning your back on whatever partnership it is that you are still clinging to, because it looks to me like you guys have potential for a beautiful partnership here. But somebody is absolutely clinging to the memories in the past, okay? So, let's go back around. Yep, no strength, no confidence, lack of self-esteem. You notice now one of these people is covered up. Somebody isn't getting the reciprocation that they need, and it's lowered their self-esteem. It's lowered their self-confidence. It's lowered their self-worth. And they just don't know what they're worth, and they're worth a, they're worth a golden opportunity. They're worth a, something big. They're worth a new opportunity, but they may not see it because they didn't get the reciprocation and love. I think that we have a commitment that has gone south. I feel like, you know, somebody doesn't doesn't believe in new beginnings when they really do need to believe. Um, there's lack of faith. Um, somebody's not listening to their inner guide and they're really really stuck on something yep i mean you got to take a look at that i mean we have somebody it's gone his south some some sort of relationship has gone south and somebody's still clinging to it there's no doubt um there's no more passion there somebody has lost their passion they have they've lost their love and their passion and their desire and somebody needs to accept it by the looks of things um you know there's an opportunity for security. There's an opportunity to move to a better better place. There's an opportunity for happily ever after. But you have to stop clinging to something. Maybe you need to move. Um, presently, you need to become stable. You need to stabilize yourself. You need to work on your abundance. You need to work on your security. You need to work on your stability. Somebody is letting the memories of the past hinder their stability. And it's time to uh, accept change of some sort. Somebody's like trying to control, trying to hold on to control. Not allowing whatever is meant to be to be. You know, trying to, you know, stop this change from happening. Trying to resist change. And it's like change is needed. Change is needed. Somebody is getting a run of bad luck because they're clinging to the past. They're not getting what they deserve. There's a reward of abundance and security and stability and happily ever after when you stop fighting it. Somebody's fighting it. It's time for a change. And that is no joke. It is. But somebody is clinging to the control, clinging to the memories, the past. Let the past go. Let the past go. Let, that is a clear message. This is this is self-manipulation. Not manifesting this new beginning. You have the power to you know, manifest a new beginning, a new start, a, a change in direction that could lead to a huge, huge, huge reward. But somebody's not using the resources to let go. Not using the resources to let go. You know, you need to find that confidence. You need to find that strength. You need to find that willpower to hold your head up high, you know, and respect yourself. You will be respected for dropping out of a game that you don't need to play. For facing the struggle. I feel as though you guys really need to find your self-confidence and your self-respect here. 
It's time to bring balance and harmony. It's time for you to be triumphant. It's time for you to be victorious. But the only way you're going to do that is to, you know, take the lead. I see a lot of confusion here. Some of you are living in some sort of illusion and you need to choose something different. You need to make a better choice. There's no need to play games. There's no need to go back and forth. There's no need for this tension. Somebody's holding on to tension from the past when it's time to just get on out of there. Choose a different option. You know, it's time. It's time to, to be the boss of your own life. It's time to, you know, hold your head up high. It's time to be strong. Find that inner strength. Some of you are letting the pain of the past hinder a golden opportunity. Very controlling. Very, very control. trying to control. If somebody's holding on to a lose-lose situation when you really got to walk away because it's time. It's time for a transformation. It's time for change. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody who you can't win. You can't win no matter what. doesn't have to be a Scorpio. could be a Leo. could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. could be a Gemini. could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. could be a Taurus. could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. could be anybody. But we have somebody here that is fighting a losing battle and it is time for change. You don't need to deal with this conflict. It's time for your transformation. It's time for you to let go of this hurt. It's time for you to receive. But somebody's not finding the inner resources to take charge. They're not. They're self-sabotaging themselves. It's time to be the boss. It's time to dominate. So I feel like the, the overall outcome is taking back your power, honestly. Find that inner strength, that force within you to take the lead in your own life. Do not let people from the past, the memories, the hurts, the pains, the tension hold you back. Be the boss. You're the boss. I feel as though some of you are holding on to a lost opportunity. It's already gone. It's gone. And it's time. It's time for you to rise up. It's time for you to find the strength to face your fears and take back your power. So cancer, I mean, do I see new love? Potential, yes. Oh, it's funny. Look what just happened. There is potential for new love. There absolutely is. But you have to be available to it. You have to be open to it. Your cup has to be full. So I really feel as though there is an opportunity to have a relationship here. But you have to know what you're worth. You have to respect yourself. Don't, don't let your loneliness, you know, hinder your ability to... Or you're, let me get this, get this right. I see that there's loneliness here. Somebody doesn't want to be single. They want a relationship. I don't want to be single. I do want a relationship. But you have to choose a different option. You have to choose wisely. This is a card of consequences. Yes, there is an opportunity for love. There is. If you have been single, you may not be single for much longer. Can you open your heart? Can you? Somebody could be coming to the rescue. Seriously. Somebody could be coming to the rescue. This is like a hero. So we could have somebody coming to the rescue. They want to have a relationship. They want to start something with you. You know, they're offering you something, you know, and maybe you're afraid to give up your independence or you're still clinging to the past. Maybe you're going back and forth because of what has happened in the past. You know, somebody they didn't follow through. Maybe you... Maybe you didn't follow through. Somebody didn't follow through emotionally, obviously. They gave up the connection. They didn't, you know, they didn't stay true to their word, whatever. Now you have this new opportunity. You do. Maybe you might not see it, though. You might not see it because some of you are still really holding on to the past. But we do have an opportunity for love here. But, you know, you it's not with the past. It's not. Please. It's not with the past. It's absolutely not. 
So stop. Let it go. There's no chance in reconcil reconciling with the past. It's time to forgive and move on. So I feel like for some of you, you know, you're dealing with a player. You're holding on to a player from the past. Some of you are hoping for a reconciliation with a player from the past. No joke. Yes, you've dealt with somebody who didn't have integrity. I, I see that. I do. But it's time for you to take your self-respect and your self-confidence and your self-worth and your self-value back and start over. And that's what I see. There's an, you need to manifest a new beginning. And you can't do that if you keep looking back at the past. So, Cancer, my advice is, is you do have another opportunity for love. i got to show you what's on the bottom. Master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat. Replace that fear with faith. Go through the transformation that you are meant to go through. You are the king of the road. You're the boss. Move forward and do not look back. And that is my advice. Head out. Head away from the past. Some of you are headed in, in a new direction, no doubt. But you've got to face opposition and you've got to steer. You are the boss. You're the boss. You're, you're, you, you steer. So anyway, I feel as though you guys are definitely headed in a new direction. You're going through a major life transformation right now. You may be in the process of releasing the past, but I see you're still holding on to it. Something that doesn't serve you, and that is no joke. With the, with the magician reverse and the ace of, ace of pentacles reverse, there's been a lot of hurt. There's been pain. There's been a lot of suffering, and it's time. It's time for you to release it. It's time for you to give new love a chance. There's, there could be somebody coming in that really soon, like really, really soon that, you know, wants to start a relationship with you. It's something you've been waiting for. But you're resisting it. So I really feel like you do have a love offer coming in. It's, it is, it's, you know, not the person from the past. It could lead to victory and success if you can master your emotions and truly shed the old. Be strong, be strong, be strong, really strong. You deserve this love. You do. You deserve reciprocation. You don't deserve to be belittled. You don't deserve to be fighting all the time. Oh, God. So we have death twice. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And we got a new beginning here. Let the past go. You are about to embark on a new life. Okay? You are. Transformation. I'm not kidding. Huge. Huge. Major life changes are ahead of you. Do not look back. I, I Please. Please. Courage. I'm telling you what. You can't make this up. I can't. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Please. Replace that fear with faith. Don't look back. You are headed to victory and success. With new love. That's what I got, Cancer. So what do I see this week? I see you finding the courage and the strength to drop the pain of the past and just literally 
I'm moving forward and I'm not looking back. And that's what I see. You may be moving. Some of you may be moving, literally moving, like moving house. I'm not going to be stuck. I'm moving forward. Good luck.